<laughs> Welcome to Bible Made Elementary. We're talking about Jacob who was on the run because he took everything from his brother Esau and now he is running for his life. You see, Jacob is obviously a scoundrel and he's no good and so he is on the run and as he's running he gets tired and he finds a place where he thinks it will be okay to sleep for the night. So he lays down and in while he lays down he has this dream and in this dream he sees heaven or God and and let's see what the Bible has to say about that today. So in this dream there are angels and a, and a huge staircase where angels are going up and down it and then at the very top is God and this is what God says to Jacob. I am the Lord. I am the God of your grandfather Abraham and the God of Isaac, your father. And I will give you and your children after you the land on which you are laying right now. They will be like the dust of the earth and they can't be counted. They will spread out to the west and to the east and they will spread out to the north and to the south. All nations on earth will be blessed because of you and your children after you. This is the big point in this whole thing. I am with you, I will watch over you everywhere you go, and I will bring you back to this land. I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. And then Jacob wakes up from his dream. This place is awesome! The Bible says that Jacob thinks that this is an awesome place, and he decides to rename it Bethel, which means holy ground. So you might be asking yourself, why does God do this? Like, Jacob is a no good, like, ridiculous person. Why does God choose to bless him? And it goes back for years and years because God made a promise to Abraham because Abraham gave up everything that he had to go to a land and he, God promised that your descendants will get this blessing. And then he blessed Isaac. And now Isaac has given his blessing to Jacob, meaning that all of the family line stuff, the stuff that Jacob stole, all the blessing is still going to go through Jacob because that's what God committed to do. Even when we're messing up, God can still use us. As much as Jacob in this story is always trying to use God and to get one over on someone else, but God can work with that, even if we don't have the best intentions. And honestly, the entire point of this is that God says, all nations are going to be blessed through your family. Not through Jacob, although kind of, but through his family. What does that mean? All that God is saying here is that through your family line, Jesus is going to be born. And that is exactly what happens. God is setting apart this group of people, this family of Israel, but he isn't trying to just bless him. Sometimes we can get off and think, oh, God is just blessing this group. But no, God is trying to say, I need a group of people who will commit to following me, even though they don't do a good job of it. And that through this family, I'm going to work and my son, which is actually me, is going to come and teach everyone in the world that the two most important things that you can do in the world is to love God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself. God didn't intend for this to be a thing that only blessed the family line of Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. He meant it as a blessing to everyone. Thanks for checking out Bible Made Elementary today. Make sure to come back on Wednesday and we'll be talking more about the scoundrel Jacob and just how much I want to shake him. Alright, I'll see you guys then. Make sure to click right there to subscribe or click right there to find other videos that can help you get closer to God. And I will see you then. Ready? One, two, three.